Hey everyone, Mike Kleinert here. I've got a lot of questions how I created and how I added to the 60 freeze frame video effect. So I'm gonna show you my optimized workflow to save your time and also get a quick turnaround. I will show you how you can create these freeze frames with a 60 camera and I will guide you through my editing process. And also I want to show you my mistake I did, which took me hours in post-production and to speed up your editing workflow, even if you not have a powerful MacBook. So stay tuned. Welcome back. So what will you learn in this tutorial? What camera settings you should use? Second, how to plan and film for this effect? And third, how my editing workflow is. Let's come at first, what is a freeze frame? A freeze frame is when a single frame or object stays still in the video. You can also record your multiple times on different perspectives and then stitch everything together. So you're multiple times in one video clip so that you get the clone effect. Second, what do you need to know before recording? First of all, what do you need for equipment? This time I'm shooting with the new Insta360 ONE R, or you can also shoot with the Insta360 ONE X or any other 360 cameras to do this video effect. And the links are down below. I really recommend using a tripod to avoid shakes or any blur in your videos. You can also use a handbell, but be careful because otherwise you have a lot of post-production. Now we are coming, what camera settings to use? The best is to set up your camera in manual using the ISO, shutter speed and white balance to set it like fixed so that no changes is like in the auto mode. Because it's important that the white balance, exposure or any other settings are not changing when you're recording multiple clips or one long clip. Let's come to what frame rate should you use. Using a higher frame rate like let's say 60 or 120 frames per second will avoid the motion blur so that you can cut out your frame better. You can also film with 20 frames per second but make sure that you really have a slow movement in your video clip and if you have something which is really fast like a bicycle ride or a horse ride so you make sure that your frame rate is at 60 or 120 frames per second. Okay, what do you need to know before filming as a 60 freeze frame? First, setting up your camera in manual mode. Second, set up your camera on the tripod on eye level or hip level. Make sure your object is moving from the left to the right side or from the right side to the left side. When we are filming with a 60 camera, you can move around your camera, but make sure that you're not get too close to the camera so that you're not hiding later some freeze frames in the background. The moving direction is very important because I did this mistake. I was going from the left, then to the right, closer to the camera, goes back to left, which was I was crossing multiple frames and to edit the layer that are not in the foreground. The post-production took me three hours more to get this smooth. Three little quick movement tips. First, walking diagonal. Second, moving from the left side to the right side. And third, moving around the camera with a consistent distance. Now we're coming to how to edit a 60 freeze frame video. What do we need to edit a 60 freeze frame? Download and install at first the Insta 60 Studio software from their website to install the plugin for Premiere Pro to read the NSIV files. Then download and install the GoPro Reframe plugin to frame the 60 video later in a 1080p clip. You can also download my sequence or project templates to save your time and go right into the editing. Let's get started. Now we are coming how to edit a 60 freeze frame effect. Open my first Premiere Pro or you're using my project template for Premiere Pro. You have already the whole photo structure and some projects there to use and go straight away to editing. Now you're importing your files to the project. With the 60 cameras they are creating two files. You can import just one file. To speed up your workflow you can use proxy files. I have linked down below my proxy presets you can use for exporting smaller 60 files with a red logo so you can see which is a proxy and which not. In the project panel with the plus button you can edit your buttons and you move your proxy button in so you can toggle on and off. Now you're creating the sequence out of the 60 file. Or you're using my templates, you just rename the project and then you're importing the 360 files. It is important to use the 5.7 project which is the 60 flat video. Now you trim the start and the end point from your clip. With the Razor Tool C, you scrub through your timeline and you make a cut there where you think where you want to have your freeze frame. With Shift minus, I minimize all the track height. And next, I unlink the video from the audio files. With holding the Option or Alt key, you can duplicate your video clips. Expand now all your video lines to the start point. Going now to the end point of the clip, right click and press frame hold option, then press OK. So now you're going to each of these video layers, go always to the end point 
highlight the clip, right click and then press frame hold option and press OK. What you are creating is a whole freeze frame from the whole clip. Now we have two options. Option 1, mask out with Photoshop and option 2, mask out with Premiere Pro. The difference between Photoshop and Premiere Pro is Photoshop goes quite quick, but in Premiere Pro you can go frame by frame and you can adjust your mask. Let's go to option 1, mask out with Photoshop. Make at first the layers above unvisible. Create now a still JPEG from every freeze frame which you then mask out in Photoshop. Now you're going to the project panel and click the photo button which exports the frame. For better organization, I rename the files. Make sure that you always go to the end point from each of their video layers to export then the next frame. After exporting all the frames, open all the JPEGs in Photoshop. Now copy all the layer in still 1. Before I duplicate the layer to still 1, I rename it. You can duplicate the layer with command D or you go in the menu bar on layer and press duplicate layer and then choose the one. This is what you do with every still JPEG. Choose now the first layer, then zoom in to mask out better and go to the lasso tool which you can choose magnetic or polygonal lasso. I use the magnetic lasso tool because it set points automatically based on the edges of the area or selection. I use it mostly to mask out quickly. Just keep in mind that I quickly cut it out just to show you how you can do it. After masking out, you go to add vector mask. Now you're cutting out or masking out all your freeze frames. In this case here, I want to remove the space between my arms and my body. With holding the option key, you get a negative symbol at your lasso and then you easily can cut it out. So when you edit vector mask, you can click on the vector mask and then you choose the brush and make sure that you have the colors black and white, which you can switch with pressing X from black to white. With the black color, you remove more and with the white color, you bring it back. Now you see the layer and you easily can change the position, which layer should overlap the other layer. Once you cut out all the masks, make sure to unvisible the other layers above and start with still one. Then press Command Shift S to save as a PNG or go to Files, Save as PNG. Now you save every layer as a PNG. Now copy all the files, drag and drop or import them in Premiere Pro. Now add your photos in the timeline and drag them from the start and to the end point. Make sure each layer is correctly on the end point. Now make all your video lines visible so you can see the freeze frame when they start and when they end. So your freeze frame is actually done and if you have some overlapping from the layers so you can easily change the layer position so that they are not cover each other. And in my case what I'm doing here is duplicate the layer showing one half of the layer in the background and the other half on the foreground. Now we are coming to option 2, mask out with Premiere Pro. The bottom videos are a running video and do not have any freeze frames. Now you make all the video lines visible and you highlight the first video track. Important is go to the start from the video clip which will be the first freeze frame. Open up then the effect control, go to opacity and choose the pencil tool. With the back quote key or, or in German U you can maximize your panel screen. Now it's time to mask out your object. You're just going step by step and you easily can adjust your key points later. You can also change the mass feather here from 5 to 10 or 15. I go usually with 10. This is now how I created my first frame. Now we are going to the next video layers and cutting out the objects. Make sure you highlight always the layer and then you start with masking out. And here Premiere Pro comes really handy when you need to adjust your key points. You're going frame by frame and adjust the key points so that you can't see how you remove the layer in the background. Congratulations, we are done right now with masking out. Now we are highlighting all the clips, press N for nest and we nest the clip. We are doing it because we can now easily color correct and color grade our footage. For color grading, I'm using Cinema Grade, which is an awesome tool you can color grade and match all the clips together. The link is in the description down below. After that, you also can speed up your clip, pressing right and going to speed duration. This is the part where you can render your SU60 video and make sure you set up the right settings. 
I also will provide you a preset for this, but easily what you need to do at the end, you need to click video is VR. This is the main important thing. Now we are coming to the last part. How to create a 1080p video out of a 60 degrees video. First, create a 1080p sequence or use my preset project. Input then the nest clip into the timeline. And now you're going to the effect control and search for the GoPro reframe plugin and drag it on the clip. Now you can reframe your Swiss 60. You zoom in out using till and pan to navigate the viewer what I should see. Mark all the keyframes in between the start and the end keyframe, right click and choose continue reserves. If you want to have an in-depth tutorial about the GoPro reframe plugin, please let me know in the commenters down below. Now I copy the color grading from the Swiss 60 video into the 1080p video and make sure when I click on export, choose the YouTube 1080p file, click on maximal render and unselect video is VR and then use maximum render quality. Congratulations, well done. Now you know how to plan, film and edit your Swiss 60 freeze frame effect or how you can clone yourself. Please make sure to check out my other videos on this channel. Hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel to, to be updated for more 360 tutorials and hacks. And let me know in the comments down below if this video was helpful for you. And I would like to see your 360 free stream. So tag 360 Mike Kleinert for social media and using the hashtags Mike Tutorials to show me your work. I also want to mention, check out my website and my blog and register on my email newsletter because I want to give you some free presets to edit your photos and some templates for Premiere Pro. Thanks for all and I will see you in the next video. Peace.